Good morning, good morning. It is 2.41 a.m. see what today's date is. Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. I like dating things given this pandemic that we're in. I think it's going to be important to understand what your mindset was like, what you were thinking, how you were feeling when literally you're experiencing something that nobody has experienced for over a hundred years. Um, I was laying in the bed last night and, and lately, you know, with, with the way schools have been out and, um, you know, kids schedule and everything is just, it's a little bit like how it used to be before you had organized schools. You know, they used to have them, uh, you know, three, you know, you know, schoolhouse is big enough to only fit three kids and uh the curriculum wasn't necessary figured out and things weren't you know all planned out and it's kind of like that right now so our son our youngest son wanted to spend time with his grandfather say hey, that's fine and our daughter uh, was just there and i you know i remember make and mention to her how she acts like she likes to be the only child when she's alone. She loves her. She loves her siblings. And uh, so I got a little bit later and, you know, our bedtimes are similar to each other. And I remember she had went in the bedroom and laid down and I went in there and I usually read before I, I get ready to go to sleep. But I remember laying there and I was reading and I set my book down. Something said, just reflect. Just give yourself a moment to reflect, to find something uh, to have gratitude for. And I uh, looked at her and I couldn't help but notice how perfect she was. Her face, her arms, her legs, how perfect of a, a, a little specimen, a little person she was. And I yelled over to my wife, I said, I said, I can't believe that God gave me this. And she said, what do you mean, a daughter? I said, well, not so much a daughter, but I can't believe that God gave me such a perfect person. Now, obviously, that's going to change as they get older and they develop their personality. But I remember hearing somewhere that if you look at a person for what they can become, it's better than trying to look at a person for what you think they are. And I was looking at her and, and, and looking at her, thinking about her, her perfectness. I couldn't help but think how blessed I was because never in a million years never in a million years did I ever see myself as a father I, you know, that's, I wasn't one of those people who grew up thinking about a family you know because mine was dysfunctional enough and when you come from something dysfunctional last thing you want is another one it's like going to the dentist and getting your teeth pulled you're not sitting there wondering when's the next time you're going to sit in that chair again so that was never a part of my vision not, not, I mean it's not something I've shied away from but it's never been a part of my vision so when I look at her, I can't help but think God really trusts me. To allow something so precious to be given to me. And all that simply leads me to believe is that God knows more than I could ever
believe possible. And there's more blessings and things happening in my life as a result of the God that I serve. 